Well, it's Wednesday morning about 10 o'clock. We got some breeze, is it? 18 to 20 or so. I'm getting ready for the farmer's market in the afternoon. I'm outside here with my Indians. Fig tree is blooming. Look at that thing. Isn't that some from a little treat to what it is now? You've seen it over the years. Gracious. Be some fat figs on there this year. Anyway, what I what I got to show you is I picked up some I had a nice knife day yesterday. Picking up knives. This is a returning customer. You've seen this before, maybe twice over the years. I do it for him every five or six months. Yesterday he gave me an electric lawnmower blade, which I haven't done for him yet. He gave me a whole box of uh, Cathalons. I think it's five or six Cathalons and three Cutcos in there. And a Gurkha, Indian Gurkha. An old one. He said it's from the 60s. But it's been in the sheath since the 60s, so it's got some bad condition rust on it here and there. And the two little knives that go with it, I've got them in the other part of the house. I'll show you a picture of them later. They're, they're so rusty you can't even believe it. They look three times as bad as that. Anyway, they'll clean up okay. And over here, we picked up these knives yesterday. We got 15 pampered chefs. Like I said, it was a, it was a good knife day yesterday. I ain't quite through though. I got one more thing to show you. Well, I just had a lady call says she was bringing me some yard tools. I got a big set of hedge trimmers, two pruners, and a loper. I'll carry them to the market with me too. I'll be busy. Get back to you. Well, we got about 10 minutes to go. Everybody's just about ready. Seafood lady has decided not to come back. I got uh, one customer so far with a pair of old scissors. I can't make out the name, but I should be able to when I get them cleaned up a little bit. Stand by. They're pretty cool looking old scissors. I got. I just put the magnifier on them. They're they're Hoffritz, just like those knives I did the other the other week. H O F F R I T Z, Germany. Cool. I like them now a lot. Like almost new. Ooh. Like the ones I got in that bag over there. <laughs> I'm working on the cut codes and the uh, cathalons I picked up yesterday. I'm just about finished with them now. I got another, another pocket knife. It's a Gerber of some kind. It's coming in here. Gerber. Correct Applegate. Fair something. Okay. Three more cut codes. I didn't notice until I got working on these other cut coats. They got their initials engraved in them. How about that? That's pretty fancy, ain't it? I don't know if you can see it or not. But the gl glare like it is. But that's nice when you engrave your initials in them like that. Okay. Six, I got a whole block of Woodstock. Well, I got a Wustoff scissor and six Wustoffs and six four steak knives and two Chinese tickets in the block. And where is it? Like six? It's right under the butterfly. Bench made. Looks like just like the one I got. Okay. 
Well, it's five minutes after six. I never had a chance to get around the market at all. I'm so busy. You've seen it before, it's no change. I'll see you in a little bit when I get home. Empty. From Saturday's market, full quiver, ground beef, the big egg. Produce chicken lady, you know, that cooks all the stuff on the grill. They sell all kinds of pork chops and meats and everything. This is their hamburger meat. The what we had the other week when you saw it, that came from the uh, utter chaos. The other vendor who sells beef. And a big salada. My leader is fixing up a big salada. And the Indians are waiting patiently. Well, I shouldn't say patiently. They're waiting. Big old Jack is waiting. And big fat boo-boo is in his little perch waiting. Say hello, boo boo. Cat man, do. And is it the uh, carnivore? Is a. Uh, I don't know where the other carnivores are. Oh, there's one of them carnivores. Hiding under the chair, waiting for some scraps. There's one more here somewhere. I don't know where she is. I think she ate them upstairs. I'll see you in a little while. 